To see how cheese is used in Brazilian cuisine, I've travelled back to Sao Paulo to visit the Mocoto restaurant, which offers traditional contemporary food from the northeast of Brazil. Originally opened in the 1970s, chef Rodrigo Oliveira grew up in the restaurant with his father, Jose, and has helped shape this into one of the city's most popular venues by using the best local ingredients and a passion for tradition. There's just one traditional cheese dating back to Portuguese times that is found all over Brazil. Its name is Qualia, and originally it comes from the northeast of the country. It's still made there by clandestine cheesemakers from raw milk. It's also made all over the country from pasteurized milk. And this is how you usually find it served on the beaches. On most Brazilian beaches, Qualo has become a popular snack food. At Makoto, they make two varieties. One is the cheese itself, conventionally cut into cubes, placed on skewers and carefully trimmed before being grilled and then served with a sweet molasses dipping sauce. The other popular Makoto snack is a mix of cheese and granulated tabioca, which begins with tabioca flour mixed with ground pepper and salt. Qualo cheese cubes are then grated in a blender and our chef mixes it thoroughly into the seasoned flour by hand. Boiling milk is added and stirred through to make a thick paste. This rich paste is then poured into a shallow baking tray which goes into the oven to bake. 4 kilos and once cooked, the tray is removed from the oven and allowed to cool. And then it's turned out and sliced to just the right size. The cubes of tabioca and cheese are deep fried until golden brown and served with a sweetened chili dipping sauce and are utterly delectable. For a heartier treat, the restaurant makes a mini hot pot using two cheeses, and I asked the head chef to take me through the process. Purê de mandioca forrado na cambuca. Isso aqui é o escondidinho de carne seca. Mandioca vai cozinhar aqui, mandioca crua. Carne seca junto com purê. Catupiry, origem de Minas Gerais. Depois eu venho com a cobertura de novo de purê. Aqui eu vou usar o queijo de coalho. E uma pimenta biquinho. Makoto was one of the first restaurants to take advantage of Brazil's artisanal cheeses, and it's become a pioneer of a widespread interest in heritage foods and Brazilian benchmark produce.